Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going back to the shop, the shop property, and um, we're going to try out this Stabila LAR350. Now this is a, this is a better, this is made in Germany. It's a lot better laser than my last one. Although my last laser, uh, it was a Leica um, Rugby 100. It actually lasted for 20 years and it recently burnt out and I thought you know I'm gonna upgrade I'm gonna get a level I'm gonna get a laser with a little more functions now this this laser in relation to my rugby 100 this one you can lay it down sideways to get two different angles to get a square um, either inside or, or, or outside you can also um, you can also use this for grade and there's a lot of there's a lot of good videos on how to use this thing. It has a remote control right here. Basically, that pulls out. You can actually you can actually focus the laser in just a small area. You can you can do the grade and adjust it remotely. So this is a one man a one man operation, which is really good for me because up in the mountains, I don't have anybody up here to help me. So everything I do is pretty much by myself. Um, so this is ideal for me. Um, anyway, it has a lot. It has a lot of functions: tilt, um, shift, standby, on off. It's got a, a mode where if it gets bumped, you can. Um, it'll tell you that way you don't keep using it. And uh, you know, if someone bumped it and you didn't know about it, it actually automatically shuts off. So this is a, this is a lot better than my last one. It's also twice the money. This one was $1,700, um, give or take. I'll have to post that. I'm, I, I'm not exactly sure how much the... I know it was over $1,700, probably $1,800 with tax. Now this rod, this, this one is a lot nicer than my last one. This has a zero mark and it also, it, it's got a lot more function and it's got a level on the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. But this Accuracy is, is a lot further too. Um, I want to say it's like 2,000 feet or something, but it could be a lot more. Anyway, uh, we're going to give this laser a try out on the property today. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, let's get started. So what I bought, I bought a, a complete kit. And this kit came with a, a hard case, infrared, goggles, um, the, the stick measuring stick, the locator, um, yeah, everything you see in this picture came with that kit. So it was a full, complete kit. And right here you see I'm setting it up. Now this is the second location that I set it up. Originally I set it up on top of the pad, but I didn't, because right, because today I'm working on grading this footing and there's some big rocks in this footing, I decided to lay it at the end of this footing ditch and um, that's the best way for me. So what I did was I, I figured out my zero point and then uh, set up and, and basically graded down this footing just straight down it. And then so about the laser, um, now this is a red, a red dot, well a red laser. They make green ones now too. This one worked really well. Um, the distance was really good. Uh, the, the shop pad um, that I'm working on is 60 by 34. The shop, that's the size of the shop. And um, I had no problems all around this area. Supposedly it'll go a long way. I forget the actual length that it'll go, but it's in the thousands of feet for this particular laser. Now, the thing I like about this is it's basically it allows me to um, not only work by myself but also squaring up the building. You know, most of the time when I'm when I'm doing a pad, I'll put out stakes on. I'll put out um, some stakes at all the corners and pull strings and and then paint paint on for the footings. But in this case. I'm actually, you know, I, I pull the string and basically 
uh, figured out this this back footing, and now, you know, when I get to the when I get this footing kind of close, um, I'll be able to go to the end of it, lay the laser down, and figure out the square of the next angle without pulling any strings at all, and it'll get it it'll get it pretty close, especially for grading or or digging footings. And that's a really nice feature. It saves a lot of time. And I'll let you know how that turns out. That's the first time I'm trying that. And let's see what else about this laser. I'm not doing any um, slopes with it today. But it does have the slope feature, which looks pretty easy to use. And let's see what else. Um... Yeah, it's a laser. Anyway, um, yeah, right here you can see them. This is the end of the end of the footing down here. The greatest thing about a laser is being able to do stuff without. You know, in the old days we'd have to have a guy with a. You know, we'd use a transit and a guy with a tape measure be holding it up in the air. And but this is this is a lot better. Right there, you can see I checked it. it Must have been in pretty good shape and I'm going to dig the rest of this footing down this row. I would have liked to get they do make lasers that you can mount onto the back onto your backhoe or excavator and they actually have a, a screen that you put in the cab where you you can have the laser on and you can just go right down the dish so you don't have to jump out and use the and check yourself but those particular those type of units are pretty expensive so I wasn't able to really do that and I think if I would have put a system like that in, I'd probably want a closed cab to protect that kind of stuff so right here you can see I go back down do some more checking there now if I would have had the laser before I started this ditch I wouldn't have to be straddling it to, to get it cleaned up but I kind of jumped the gun and started on it there was a few big rocks in this location that I needed to get out prior to digging the footing. So now clean up, I have to straddle it, but it's all right. It works pretty good. So right here, you can see what I'm going to do is lay this laser down straight down the line in this ditch, and it'll give me a square. Now, the first time I did this, it didn't seem to turn on right, and I think I, I, I didn't do it right, but the second time I turned it on, it, it worked perfect. And this is where this kind of this kind of laser is is a uh, quite interesting to use. So if you can see right here, I got my white paint out, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this angle of this back corner of this garage, and it's super simple. You just lay it down, make sure that your red dot. Is straight down the line of this of your previous footing and then it'll give you a uh, square laser in the opposite direction perfectly square and that feature is pretty nice because uh, you know you don't you don't have to set out all those bats and and uh, right here you can see I'm double checking this this red dot and it's a little hard to see actually the dot does the the dot coming out the top doesn't pick up on your receiver so I would have liked that that would have been nice if that did that but it did it did work really well and uh, yeah that's that's the first use this is the first day first use of the LAR 350 Stabila now right here after marking where that footing was I I come over here and I start um, basically getting ready to start digging this footing up this side. And it's crazy, this property, it, there's just no relief from rocks. I mean, there's just so much rock in here. And I'm going to show you one big one I'm going to pull out of here. And it's actually right in the middle of the footing, so it's kind of a bummer. But, um, yeah, I was able to pull it out. Moving the dirt. You know, digging it, it's not, you know, it's a little struggle because of the rocks, but 
basically moving these giant piles is uh, is kind of a task in itself. Um, I'm basically moving it, you know, 30 feet at a time or whatever the length from scooping it to turning it around and putting it in the other spot. What I really need out here is a dozer, but I don't have one, so I got to use what I got. But it was a beautiful day and really nice to be back on the property working. Now right here is where this big rock is. Now you can, you can see kind of part of the top of it right there. And of course it's right close to my footing, so I got to get it out of there. The nice thing is all these big rocks you can use for landscape, uh, for landscaping. People really like them. There's one piece of it. That was a pretty big piece, but this next one's really big. Actually, it's hard to, pretty hard to get out of there. There it is. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, it struggled to get that up the mountain. I end up setting it up on this ledge. Anyway, thank you very much for watching Outlaw Woodworking. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.